Hi, I'm Kim, your Teeter Free Step Trainer, and today I've got a great 30-minute workout for us, so let's get started. So let's imagine that we're just warming up on a nice bike ride. I have my gear down easy, just soft and low, and we're just waking up the muscles, waking up the joints, getting our breath going. So I'm not even holding on with the handles yet. I'm just pumping my legs and I'm imagining that I'm gliding along on a beautiful, warm summer day and it's just the wind in my hair and the warmth of the sun and we're just gliding along. So I'm noticing my breath coming in, inhale and exhale and maybe my heart rate's just picking up a little bit. So nice and easy, just warming up the joints, warming up the muscles. All right, we'll do this for a little bit longer, a few more seconds. And then we might think about beginning to grab hold of the handles or not. It's always an option to just keep our hands on our legs. I'm sitting up comfortably tall, my core is engaged. And I'm just working on noticing the breath Inhaling through the nose and exhaling. Nice and easy. All right. So we'll take this for a few more seconds. And it's always fun to just visualize. Maybe we're someplace tropical. Maybe we're listening to the ocean waves crashing on the side of us as we're riding along. Nice and easy breathing. Everything's relaxed. We could even close our eyes for a moment, feeling tension leaving the body. We might feel our shoulders relax, our core softly engaged. Our breath is easy, our grip is soft. Just in that nice, comfortable warm-up stage. Now we could stay with this absolutely for 30 minutes if we wanted to, just floating along, but we'll make some suggestions along the way to uh, pick it up and take it back down again as if we're going for a nice long bike ride. So let's take one more minute or so at this low, low rate and keep the level low. Just breathing comfortably. So we could carry on a conversation, anything we need. Just nice and easy, minimal effort to begin. We can even slow the pace down a little bit if we're going too quick, that's okay. Stepping, hopefully that motion just feels very comfortable on the joints and the muscles. No strain, minimal effort, minimal effort. All right, let's take another 30 seconds and then we'll start to maybe increase the resistance. All right, let's take a big deep breath in through the nose and a big exhale, filling up the belly, filling up the chest with fresh air one more time and exhale, sitting nice and tall, relaxed shoulders, Proud chest. Wonderful. All right. Now let's go ahead, if we feel inclined, let's go ahead and just bump it up. Maybe one or two on the resistance. Got myself at a three. I've gone from a one to a level three. And I can feel it's a little more challenging right now, but still very comfortable, very manageable, very doable. All right, so it's as if we're maybe climbing up a slight incline, but still quite comfortable. The air is warm, but not too hot. The breeze is lovely. Our grip is soft. Our core is nicely engaged. And we're just riding along on this beautiful summer day. Good, keep the breath moving. Can almost feel meditative. 
Just keep the breathing, lengthening through the crown of the head. Find that lift through the heart. Nice. Let's take a break from the arms and just let the, notice our hands on our quads and feel the work of the legs. My core is still comfortably engaged and I feel that pressing, pushing motion. So even though we might imagine that we're cycling on a bicycle, it's really that comfortable pressing. Nice, keep it going. Deep breath in and out. Wonderful. Just focusing on the legs. Put all of our focus just right on those. Notice the feet pressing through the toes, the balls of the feet, the arches. Feeling those legs working, feeling the quads. We might feel our ankles and our calf muscles. And we're sitting tall. We've got all that energy. Inhale, exhale. All right, and let's go ahead and take hold again. We can vary the grip if we like. If we enjoy an overhand grip or holding with our hands, kind of like a hammer curl position. Sitting tall, breathing. All right, in about 30 seconds, we might take it up again as if we're climbing that hill. Nice and easy. The breath feels like a little bit of effort, but very manageable, not too much at all. Inhale and exhale, deep breath. Good, all right, about five more seconds. And let's go ahead and take one more increase. I'm gonna take it to a level five, but listen to your body. If five feels like it's a little too much, go ahead, back it off. Let's see if you can challenge yourself. Maybe a five feels just right. Okay, again, I'm noticing my quads, the pushing, noticing a little bit more effort. Still fairly easy for me to talk, but I can definitely feel that there's a little more effort going on. All right. So now that hill is starting to get a little bit steeper. Inhale, exhale, coming up the hill. We're gonna make it all the way to the top of the hill eventually. But let's get there nice and easy. Good, and again, we can change the grip if that feels comfortable. I notice the backs of my shoulders, my upper back, my posture is tall. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. My core is engaged, so I'm also working my core. I'm working everything. I can tell my entire body is engaged from my breath work to my feet, my legs, my core, my posture. Beautiful. Take another 30 seconds and then let's see if we can bump up this climb to the top of the hill. We'll imagine that we're on a steeper incline. I'm going to switch my grip back down again and we're going to crank it up in about 10 seconds and imagine that we're really working to get up to the top of the hill. Okay, are you ready? So this time I'm not even gonna look at the numbers, but I'm just gonna turn it and oh my goodness, there we go. All right, here's our challenge. So now we are pumping and pushing as if we are really challenging our system. Good, I'm finding it more challenging to breathe and talk at the same time, working those muscles. Nice, all right, imagine we're really going up to the top of that mountain. Push, it's a challenge. We might even feel as if we're standing on a bicycle and pushing. Keep the breath going. Inhale and exhale. Good, I can even grab on top. So I'm working my upper body muscles as well. We got this, keep going. Keep going all the way up. We're gonna hit the top of that mountain and then we'll flatten out for a little bit before we climb again. All right, 
Five more seconds. Push, push, push. Ah. All right, back it off. Go ahead, don't even look down. Oops. And take it back down, I guess, look down. <laughs> All right, now imagine that you've climbed and now we're on this nice flat level for a little bit. Give us some recovery. All right, let's take the hands off and just focus on the legs. Core is engaged, I'm pressing back into the seat. And I might have a little brisker pace this time. That's okay. Breathing, allowing a little bit of that recovery. So we're on that flat, but it's more challenging than it was during that whole warm up phase. All right. We'll play around too with just using the arms as well and single legs. Lots of variety along the way. Okay, so I'm pushing, pushing. Let's take another 30 seconds just at that steady state. Nice and flat, pushing, breathing. It's challenging but not overwhelming. We're getting that heart rate up, using all of our muscles and joints, using everything. Good, 10 more seconds. Inhale, exhale. Nice, we're almost there. Good, all right. Now, let's play around with this for a little bit, just for fun. Let's take one foot and place it. These are just options, just something to play around with. So now I'm just focusing on that right leg and I can feel my inner thigh, I can feel my quads. That right leg is working hard, pushing. Beautiful. Let's have that right arm. So we're working the right side of the body while the left side relaxes. Good. Just a variation. Nice. Pushing and pulling with the arm. Inhale, exhale. Good. Let's do this for another about 15 seconds. Excellent. We got this. Something different. Feeling that inner thigh, feeling the quad feeling our foot, feeling that pushing and pulling. Beautiful, all right, let's put both back on, pedal along, inhale, let's take a deep breath in, and a big exhale. All right, now let's focus on the left side. So, remove that right foot, and let's just start with the left foot. Push that leg up there, good. Now, same thing, putting all of my focus into that left leg. I feel my quads. I feel that core engaged. I feel my inner thigh, but no pain in any joints. I don't feel soreness in my knee. Excellent, driving that foot forward. Maybe adding that left arm and pushing and pulling. Great, good, one leg at a time. Gives that chance to focus on each side. Keeping that core engaged. Good. About five more seconds. Inhale, exhale. Wonderful. All right. And both feet back on. All right. Let's try just the arms. So, placing our feet, let's go ahead and take the arms. Oh my goodness, like we're rowing a boat or something gliding across water. Reaching, pulling and pushing. The knees are soft, our feet are resting, our core is engaged. And we're really pumping those arms. We can even change the grip if we like. Keep it going, rest those feet up. Good, whoops. <laughs> Keep those feet firmly on the stance there. Good, keep it going. About 15 more seconds, sitting tall. Breathing, inhale and exhale. Lots of effort for that upper body. Great way to get some upper body strength work and endurance. Wonderful, all right. Let's take the feet back down and let's take a little breather. So now it's as if we're going to come down off that plateau. So now I'm gonna drop it way back down to that first gear, looking for minimal effort. So our core is engaged, our shoulders are relaxed. We might sit back and just let our legs do the work for a little bit. So it's as if we're coming down that hill, 
we climbed, we plateaued for a bit, rode along, and now we're just taking it back down. Don't worry, we'll climb the next hill after this. So easing along, just let those legs do the work. Inhale and exhale. And we might take hold of the grip again if that feels comfortable. Now, unlike the beginning when this felt a little bit easier, it almost feels like we're just flying along because our body's really used to it. So it's quickly going along at a fast pace. Inhale, exhale. The grip, my grip is really soft. My wrists are straight. My breathing is comfortable, but I've definitely raised my heart rate. Good, keep going. Few more seconds, okay. Let's start that slow climb now on the next hill. So I'm gonna just reach down, turn that gear up a little bit. Maybe I'm coming to number four or so this time. So right away, I do feel more resistance. My grip is soft. My wrists are straight. So what I'm avoiding is putting, gripping hard and putting a lot of tension and energy into my arms. I'd rather put that energy into my legs, working those big muscle groups. Inhale and exhale, raising the heart. Good, so this hopefully feels challenging, but very doable. Like we could sustain this for quite a while. Inhale, exhale. Nice, and again, if we wanna use some fun imagery, we might imagine that we're headed to a picnic and it's up at the mountain summit and we're gently riding slowly up the hill. We might have a picnic basket in our bike. Maybe it's got some wonderful French bread. Terrific. Some berries, all kinds of healthy, delicious things to eat. We're gonna find that beautiful picnic spot in the warm sun. So we're riding along and we start to see a little more of an incline. So we might feel that resistance pick up again. A little bit harder, a little bit more of an incline, a little bit more of a climb. Inhale and exhale, riding along. Good, pushing through the full foot. Feeling comfortable, but definitely aware that we're working hard. All right, breathing in and out through the nose. Holding comfortably, not gripping too hard. We've got that fabulous baguette in our basket and all those lovely strawberries and blueberries and raspberries. All right. Okay, it's getting a little bit steeper, so we might crank it up again a little bit more. All right, riding up that hill, seeking out that wonderful picnic spot at the top of the, top of the hill, the mountain summit. Inhale, exhale. Okay, last little bit of steep, crank it up. Push, push, push. How about Let's take it all the way. Oh my gosh, steepest part of the hill. All right, it's as if we're standing on our bike, climbing, pushing, almost to the top, almost to that beautiful picnic spot. About 45 seconds, pushing, breathing, breaking a sweat. Can't wait for our bread and our berries. Keep going. Inhale, exhale, 30 more seconds. Keep it going, we got this. Hard as we can, pushing, breathing, knowing that recovery is coming soon. Excellent, about 15 more seconds, and then we'll start to plateau again. Almost there, Woo, 10 seconds to that beautiful plateau and then reaching that picnic spot. Almost there. 
breathing. Ah, wonderful. All right, let's take our resistance back down, maybe to about a five or so. Ah, deep breath. What an accomplishment. So we see our picnic spot in sight. We're on this nice flat surface as we pedal over to it. Inhale, exhale, letting our heart rate come down a little bit, letting our breath recover a little bit. Good, again, we can play with the grip, overhand grip if that feels comfortable. Breathing, pushing through the foot, soft joints, engaged core, lifted heart. Feel the warmth of the sun on our face. Maybe our hair is blowing in the wind. Wonderful. Breathing along, good. Lovely. All right, I see that picnic spot in sight. Keep going. All right, we might be taking it down just a little bit. So dropping the gears, lower gear. So it's a soft, gentle sloping down. Letting gravity help us along the way. Might switch the grip again. Might give our arms a rest, just let those legs work. Settling back into the seat. My back is touching. I can feel my back muscles, my core is engaged. My chest and my heart are open. I might have my hands helping my legs along. Maybe just even noticing the feel of the muscles in the quads pushing working good let's keep it at that light gear but let's pick up our pace we want to get to that gorgeous picnic spot so we can have our berries push 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 just those legs fire them off good playing with different systems in the body letting it go pushing fast as we can breathing sprinting feeling that sprinting motion good 10 more seconds, sprint, sprint, sprint. Keep it going, almost there, and then we'll back it off. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. Okay, ease it down, good. Grabbing that grip again, nice and easy. Sitting tall, proud posture, lifted heart, leaving room for the air to come in and out, breathing, soft neck, soft jaw, Relaxed face, good. Our core is engaged, but we still feel softness, not a gripping feeling in the body. Inhale and exhale, wonderful, good. All right, let's pick up. So we're down at very low gears. Let's just add a couple of gears, just to make it a little more challenging. Just a slight incline up. I still see that picnic spot in the distance. It'll be great when we get there. Keep going. Hmm. Let's focus just on that right side again. So this time, we've got that left leg resting, but I wanna put all of the work into the right side. So instead of putting the left foot up, just let it be along for the ride. Let the left hand come down, but using the right leg, the right arm, pushing and pulling. Beautiful. Nice way to just pay attention to different parts of the body. All the focus is on the right side. That left side is just floating along, pushing and pulling. 10 more seconds. Almost there, and then we'll switch sides. Beautiful. All right, now focusing over on just the left. So let that right side relax and let that left leg work, pushing with the left arm, putting all the focus on the left. That right side's just along for the ride. Good. Beautiful. There. Great. And now let's press along using the arms, sitting tall. Last little bit before we reach that picnic spot and really bring ourselves down to that cool down. So maybe one more minute of 
kind of that sprinting feeling at that moderate resistance. Wonderful, keep going. Ah, give it all we got. About 45 more seconds, and then we'll bring ourselves into that beautiful cool down that takes us to our picnic spot. Keep going. And change the grip if we like. Last little sprint. Good. Good. So the resistance isn't too challenging, but there's a little bit there. So we feel like we're working. Work on the breath. Fill the lungs with fresh air. Inhale. Exhale. Feeling that sense of accomplishment. Good. 15 more seconds. Sprint it out. Give it all we have. Go, go. Wonderful. Almost there. Almost there. Terrific. All right. Start to back it off. Turn our gears all the way down as low as possible. Nice. So we're almost, I just see it right in the distance. Very close. We're almost to, the, to our picnic spot. So we're going to ease into it. Easy. Letting our heart rates come down. Good. Hands could stay on the thighs or gently reach for the handles. And let's let our heart rate come down, feeling comfortable, breathing in and out. Again, we can close our eyes. We can imagine we're in this beautiful, warm mountaintop spot. It's a lovely field with wildflowers everywhere. That feeling of summer and warmth. We've got a big picnic blanket to lay on the ground. Pull out our baguette of bread and our berries and something cold and refreshing to drink. Maybe some sparkling water. Wonderful. Let's start to slow our pace down. We're just about there. Breathing in and out. Soft grip. Tall spine. Lifted heart. Feeling a wonderful sense of accomplishment. We took this fabulous ride to reach this beautiful mountain spot. This field to enjoy our picnic in the summer sun. All right. Letting the heart rate come down. Inhale, exhale. Let's notice our toes, how they've worked for us, our feet, our ankles. Feeling our calves, feeling our quads, feeling our hamstrings and our glutes, our hips settled on the, on the seat. Feeling that length through the spine, tall, long, lifted body. Feeling that length through the spine. The lungs fill with fresh mountain air. Inhale, exhale, let's take a really deep breath. Fill those lungs with fresh air. Inhale. And exhale. And again, deep breath in. And exhale. And let's let our hands relax and sit comfortably back in the seat. So we're really actively bringing our heart rate down, softening our face, softening our jaw, getting ready for that picnic lunch we have planned. Inhale, exhale. Good, really slowing the pace down. Wonderful. Feeling the heart rate come down, feeling our breathing start to slow. Great, let's just let the right leg work very slowly and comfortably, minimal effort. And let's pause there for just a moment. Take a big inhale up and a big exhale. Now resting our heel of the left foot, let's just tip forward a little bit and notice that stretch through the back of the legs into the calf muscles behind the knee. My spine is long, my core is engaged, but I feel that nice stretch. And take it back, change sides. So let that left foot 
press the pedal down and let's rest that right leg. So our leg is straight, but our knee is not locked. There's softness, lifting up, feeling that stretch through the back of the body. Inhale and exhale. And both feet come down. Let's take a nice big inhale up. We have reached our picnic spot. It's about time for our lunch. Inhale and exhale. And last one, biggest inhale of the day. Hold it in, tell every cell in your body how amazing it is. And big exhale. Ah, wonderful. Great accomplishment. Enjoy your picnic. And we'll see you next time on the Teeter Move app. Thank you.